the fountain of souls on this earth. The kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus Christ is coming to judge sin. You have to turn away from fornication. Turn away from drinking. Turn away from smoking. Turn away from pride. Turn away from unbelief. And return back to Jesus. That's the only way of faith. You have to surrender to God. Surrender to God. Surrender your life to Jesus. That's the only way you can enter heaven. No one wants to go to hell. No one wants to go to hell. Everybody should run about and be with God after they leave this place and have a body that does not die. And God has promised that body. A body that doesn't get old. A body that does not die. He has promised that. He is calling all of his people to come home, to turn away from sin, and live holy. Hallelujah! He is calling all of his people to turn from sin and come home. That's the people God has not given up on you. God loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. That's why he died for our sins. In this world, we are suffering and pain. There's depression. There's suicidal thoughts. There's unemployment. There's all about the evil in this world. But Jesus Christ has remembered you. Jesus Christ has loved you. And Jesus Christ has prepared a place for you in heaven. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ has prepared a place for you in heaven. There is no suffering in heaven. There is no suffering in heaven. There is no love in heaven, blessed people. There is hope in heaven. There is peace in heaven. Yes. There is no eviction in heaven. And Jesus Christ, He is calling all of you to come home. He is calling all of you to come home to Him. And turn away from sin. And live for God. The kingdom of God is at hand. Judgment is coming upon this world. Sin will be judged. Don't think anyone gets away with sin. No. If you don't get judged in this life, when you die, you have to go stand before him and give him a thought for every sin you have committed. Take Jesus Christ while you can. Live for God while you can. Honor God with your life while you can, there's a people. Because bad times are ahead. And God is going to judge sin. Live for Jesus. Honor Jesus with your life and turn from sin. They honor the devil with your life. There is no future in sin, that's the people. There is no future in sin. Sin leads to destruction. All those who continue in sin will perish. Will perish. No one wants to go to hell after they die. Everybody wants to be received by God in heaven. Today, you can receive Jesus Christ. Today, you can turn from sin and honor God. Today, you can live for Him. Have you received Jesus Christ said my friend? Have you turned from sin to follow Him? Have you turned from sin to follow Him? He is coming back to judge this world. And He's calling you home. He is calling all of you home. Baltimore, Baltimore. Where will your soul spend eternity? That's all that matters in the end. Where will our soul spend eternity? Whether you're rich, whether you're poor, whether you're black, whether you're white, where will your soul spend eternity? That's all that matters once you die. Once you die, all that matters is what you did with Jesus Christ. That's all that matters once you die. What did you do with Jesus Christ? Did you help him? The best of people. We all have to go stand before God one day and give an account for every sin we have committed. To pray now and honor God now. Live for Jesus Christ now. That's the people. God saw our sins and He came from heaven and died for us. He does not want to condemn us. He wants to have mercy upon us and give peace to us and hope to us. But judgment is coming upon this earth. Hell is a real place. We have to turn away from sin and honor God. Judgment is coming up on this world. Oh, son, son. Live for Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, yeah. Live for Jesus Christ. Young man, honor God with your life. 
Amen. We have to honor God with our life. Live for God. Judgment is coming upon this earth. Don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until judgment comes. We might be young now, but we're going to get old very soon. Very soon we'll be dead and have to go stand for God. Don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until judgment comes. The kingdom of God is at hand, there's a people. The kingdom of God is at hand. Fear God and give Him glory. Have you feared God much more? You have not feared God. You have legalized abortion. There is one full month of homosexual celebration. You have not feared God. God will judge this world because of sin. How can you celebrate homosexuality? which is an abomination before God. How can you kill millions of babies every year? How can you kill millions of babies every year? Do you think that God will not judge that? Do you think that God will allow that to go? Repent and turn back to God. Live for Jesus Christ and honor Him with your life. Bad times are ahead, blessed people. Bad times are ahead. And God will judge sin. We will have sin and fall short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, not one, but God has given us grace. We have to take the grace and come to Him so He can cleanse our life. He can change our life so that we can be up right before Him. All that matters, blessed people, is where our soul will spend eternity. When we die, when we die, that's the moment of reality. You can ignore God all you want in this life. You can despise those who are sent to you in this life. You can despise the word of God in this life. But we have to die one day. We may have to die one day and then stand before God and have to give an account. What did we do with Jesus Christ? Did we laugh at Him? Did we mock Him? Did we despise him? What do we do with Jesus Christ? Because judgment is coming upon this earth. Turn away from sin and honor God with your life. The kingdom of God is at hand. See first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all things will be added unto you. Why are you running out the money and fame? Why are you running out the money and fame and power? All these things will pass away. You can't take one dime with you once you die. As rich as you may be, when you die, you die with nothing. Naked you came into the world, and naked you leave this world. And all that matters once you die is what did you do with Jesus Christ? Did you hate him? Let me tell you something, my friend. Jesus Christ woke you up this morning. Did you despise him? Did you hate him? It is Jesus Christ who can have life to you this morning. Jesus Christ alone saves. Only Jesus Christ alone can save our souls once we die. And it's appointed for us to die once. And we have to stand before God. Our ancestors, they were in the blood blood. Our grandparents and grandmas, they were in the blood blood. And they have to die and they stand before the Jesus that I'm talking about right now. Prepare, bless the people. Turn away from sin and honor God with your life. God judges sin. And don't wait until it's too late. Then you stand before God in your sin. Naked before God. When you're a sinner and you continue in sin and you die like that and you stand before God, you're naked before Him. Because all of your sin is still there. But the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ can wash away our sins. That's the people. The blood of Jesus Christ, it can wash away our sins. Tell Jesus Christ where you can. Heaven is prepared for you. God has not given up on you. All the murders, all the pain of the babies, all the racism, all the pride, all the war, all the suffering. But God has not given up on this world. He still loves us. And He's calling all to come. Whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're Chinese, whether you're Indian, Jesus Christ.